Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Sustainably, my Let's Play series about how we can be sustainable in the environment while also enjoying Minecraft. As you can tell, the winds are picking up, and I said I had an idea that blew into my head. Well, you see, wind farms not only slow down the breeze, but they also harness the energy, so I was thinking we could make some farms off of the wind power from all of these strong breezes coming in off the coastline. Now, is that a good idea or what? My name is Captain General, and welcome into my world here. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to play those wind sound effects the entire episode. So, we have a lot of water out here. These warm, tropical, coral, kelpy oceans. And, you know, the render distance doesn't actually make it to the islands way out there. So I thought it'd be nice to have something on the horizon. And that's where today's inventory fills up with stuff. And we are going to make wind farms. Now, of course, we don't want to damage the wonderful ecosystem down here of tropical fish, dolphins, squid. So we're going to make all of our wind turbines floating on buoys ported by a weight hanging down in the water kind of keeping the center of mass low as the wind blows but without actually adhering it to the ocean floor so the buoy starts with our red sandstone we have the wall variants here as well as having a nice bright color kind of like a safety orange and it's a little grimy weathered down. I think all of those functions in the texture, in the color, and in the block variety make a perfect base for our wind turbine. Next, we need a place that we can attach the wind turbine to a mechanical element. So this is going to act as our pivot point. Oh, yeah, it is an anvil, but if we're using it for decor, it's our rotating pivot point here. So it's kind of mechanical looking, kind of looks like maybe a big ball bearing that has structural support across the top. As we continue up, we need a center column and we're going to utilize even more supports. There we go. So this makes up the bottom support for our wind turbine. As the sun is now set, we have the base structure filled out for our wind turbine. And as we swim back to the top, look at that! We've started the helix formation here. We're gonna have two main turbine blades that spiral up around our center column. And now we need to make it look like it's curving so curving we did it's almost rotated 90 degrees and we've added a nice support beam up here now we'll continue our support beam and we want to reconnect similarly to how we had our first one down at the bottom so if we do a little something like that on both sides i said like that on both sides now we need another anvil up here. And we have the complete helix with supports and two bearings. From up here, we'll put a grindstone, make it a little bit taller, and a nice red light at the tip so that, well, I mean, it is electrical, industrial, but also it's a tall tower. We need a red light at the top. I am an aviator, after all. And as we gaze upon it from afar, we have to decide, does it look like a wind turbine? I felt that the base was a little disproportionate to the full blades, so I went ahead and made it a little bit bigger. And now we're going to come and put what I was talking about earlier our little tidal supports down here. And let's do... Let's 
some chains. Don't forget to breathe. And we'll put our weights on it. I'm just going to use cobblestone walls. Something like that. Kind of floating and resisting all of the ocean current. See, I feel like that fits on the water better. So I've just randomly placed these around in the water, trying to space them out, see if they would look good, but I didn't actually test where I wanted these. I don't know of any quick way to do that. So as I build my fourth one here, these look really cool. I'm hoping I don't absolutely hate the placement of this because I don't really want to tear all these down. Oh well, we keep going. One of the things I like about this design is how it's not really a easy shape to make out of squares. Um, it's also, I mean, it's like an organic shape. And it's funny because the more I build this, the more I just see a bunch of Tetris pieces stuck together in three dimensions. But there we go, there's both of the helix shapes done. And then all I have to do now is add in the center column. Of course, this whole thing takes inspiration from real life. And the future of green technology. I wouldn't say there's any right or wrong way to do any of this. But feel free to let me know in the comments whether or not you think I did it correctly or did it poorly. And as I finish with the cobblestone weights, it kind of looks like gas tentacles. But we're going to get our first look. Three, two, one. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Those two are the same orientation, and those two... And it looks like from here they make just a lateral plus sign. Alright, let's try and get a different angle. Oh, see, that looks better. How do the bees see it? Oh, not as bad. From on top of Dumbledore's porch? Okay. Hey, we just need a couple more. We now have six windmills, and I'm completely out of red sandstone, so that's as much as we're going to make. I did cheat that one over there, and the one in the far corner over there. Yeah, that's not an anvil. I ran out, and my iron was getting low, so we'll update those in the near future. It is pretty cool now that it's nighttime that they have slightly glowing tops to them. It does give a little more life to the build as they're just floating statically in the ocean. And with these nice new wind turbines powering the homestead, I can leave on an adventure with a chest. For you see, 1.19 has come out and I am on a quest to find mangroves, but not the ones I made, 
the ones that have been added into the game. I'm leaving this desert into what I would think is a sparse jungle. Yeah, this is jungle wood. But I've not found any mangroves yet. Nothing new. This is kind of cool, though. I haven't really gone super, super exploring the new terrain generation. I could tell you this is the new terrain generation, so let's go. <gasps> oh, ah! oh, okay, that could have been really bad. Okay, we got out of that one. Wait a second. That's a very tiny, lush cave. This is not going to help me find mangroves. I'm going to get out of here. That moss, though. I almost thought for a second I found a lush cave. Yeah, so my objective is for the mangroves. Hey, that's an azalea tree. Yeah, right. I think my objective has just changed. I think in this jungle area here, which I really like, by the way, not super dense, we have found a lush cave, which will be my first ever, I think, yeah, priorities have changed. We dig tomorrow, and we've arrived. How magnificent, right? A little bit uh, underwhelming. I think we've intercepted a cave here. Uh, I was, hello. I was digging by hand because someone forgot to bring a shovel and look at all that rooted dirt I dug up by hand just to get here. <sighs> well, I guess I'll follow this here. Copper and gold, well, we're pretty far down. And lapis? We are pretty far down. I wasn't convinced that that was the lush cave it was leading me to, so I decided to dig a little bit more and we've got some moss here. Ah, that's not really much better. Let's say I found it. Nope, it's a big hole that leads to death. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go down there. Well. It was nice exploring. Maybe I should have just stuck with the mangroves. Ironically, I dug all this way and there is daylight coming out of a hole here. So, I could have done all that without that hand digging. Wonderful. Don't you dare tell me this is the same hole I was in earlier. It is indeed the same hole I was in earlier. Hey, that's pretty. Sun setting over a shattered savanna with a little town on a hill. No way. No way. I was just... I was going to give up. <laughs> what are the odds? Okay. I was getting ready to do my outro. I'm like, ah, oh, we found a little town. The sun is setting. But no. We didn't just find a little town. The town led us to the new mangroves. <gasps> We're very tiny, tiny, tiny mangrove. A single mangrove. <gasps> this is what I've wanted. Well, you'll have to wait to find out for why I wanted to come to the mangroves. But thank you so much for watching. I did find some spore blossoms on my way out of that cave, but this is where I've wanted to go. With the power of the wind, I'll see you in the next episode.